What are codecs and containers? And what is the difference between them? That is what I'm going to explain in this video. First of all, let's take a look at what a codec is. Codec means compressor, decompressor, and it's basically a piece of software that's used to encode video or audio. For example, a certain camera uses the H.264 codec to encode a video, and after that it saves this video to an SD card. If we want to play this video on a computer, the computer also needs that H.264 codec in order to decode the video so that we can watch it. Frequently used codecs are pre-installed on your PC, which is why it's able to play most videos out there. Now, there are many different codecs. There is H.264, MPEG-2, XVID, DNxHD, and many others. Also, these are just video codecs. There are also lots of audio codecs. Every codec has its own features, advantages, and disadvantages. Some video codecs, for example, are excellent for video editing, while others are better for playback and distribution. Codecs are very important since they determine what the video will look like and, in case of an audio codec, what the audio will sound like. Luckily, there is a lot of information about specific codecs available online. Now, let's see what a container is. As the name suggests, a container is just a package. A box that contains the video and its audio, since many videos have sound in them. Examples of containers are .mov, .mp4, .avi, and many others. The container is the type of file that's used. Just like codecs, every container has its own special abilities, like support for subtitles and other data. Since the container is just some packaging material, it doesn't do anything to the quality of the video or the audio itself. The container and the codec are separate things. This means that you could have a video that uses the .mov container and is encoded using the H.264 codec, with the audio being encoded using the AAC codec. Uh, but you could also have a video that uses the .mov container and is encoded using the MPEG-2 codec, with the audio being encoded using the MP3 codec. So, the file extension tells you which container is used, but it doesn't tell you what codecs are used to encode the video and the audio. It's important to note that not all codecs and containers are compatible. There are even containers that support only one codec. In that case, the file extension does tell you what codec is used. Something that can be quite confusing as well is that there are codecs that have the same name as a container. For example, there is a .mp4 container, but there is also an mp4 codec. Since the codec and the container aren't the same thing, a .mp4 video doesn't necessarily use the mp4 codec. Actually, since the mp4 codec is kind of old and obsolete, most .mp4 videos that you'll encounter these days aren't encoded using the mp4 codec. So in conclusion, the codec is a piece of software that's used to encode video or audio. There are many different codecs out there, and they all have their own features and advantages. The container is just a box that contains the video and its audio. Since the container isn't the same thing as the codec, the file extension doesn't tell you what codec is used. So now hopefully you know what codecs and containers are. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.